gang gang what's good with y'all uh today's video is gonna be really a very simple video i ain't gonna lie to y'all um i want to do two things with the car um the basic install the first thing i want to do is actually change the round dowels on the car so for those who don't know what a round dowel is it's literally just the bmw uh logo that's on the front uh on the hood and the trunk of the car i want to swap those out for the 50th anniversary ones that i just showed you guys that i got from beamer plug uh, description is going to be down below if you guys want to check them out and also i want to do an oil change now for the oil change i'm a little bit overdue for that i'm not going to lie when i say overdue uh it's been about three to four thousand miles that i haven't changed my oil now i know it's a lot of you guys are going to be like oh my god bro you still got like another two three more three thousand more miles you could go but with the way i drive my car and what i do to my car I need to change it every 2,000 miles or 3,000 miles. That's where I that's where I really sit at, and that's how I feel comfortable doing it. So, first thing we're gonna do is install the round dials. Then we're gonna head over to Advanced Auto, get some liquid Molly oil, and change the oil. So yeah, let's do it. Hmm. Uh, got a little problem. So what I want to show you guys. This shit does not match up to this. So I got my Dremel and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut these little tabs off and put some 3M adhesive on the back of this. I'm gonna take the glue off that's right here and I'm gonna put it back on. I mean, that's that's the only thing I could do right now. Ain't nothing else we could do about it. I already took the shit off and I like the way this looks. So let's make it happen. Ah, we good boys all right so i did it <laughs> as y'all can see i don't want y'all to judge me on my um taping job i don't really do this shit but you know we got to make sure we cover all the surfaces so this joint don't fall off on the highway when we're doing 40 miles per hour get me all right so let's try this now shit i forgot i gotta take the adhesive that's on here so let me do that right now i'll be right back All right, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This one was a lot easier. Like this joint just slipping like butter. I ain't gonna lie to you. That sound real mo, but y'all know what I mean, bro. The shit just went right in the hole, and I didn't even need no 3M. I should put some 3M on there, but I ain't gonna put no fucking 3M on there. I'm just gonna let that shit rock out. But it definitely fits. It looks right. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I feel like I should have got the black carbon fiber one, cause this one just looks weird. Like the the actual BMW is smaller. Like, let me show you guys. Like, if you look at this one, the BMW is actually big as shit. Uh, here, it's small. So, I might just upgrade to the carbon fiber. Uh, the, it's not going to make a difference with the lettering. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, it's going to look a lot better than this. Y'all hear that shit? I ain't going to lie. This shit might fall the fuck off on the highway. But, fuck it. It is what it is. It looks good. That's it. Now, let's do this oil change. All right, boom. So I just changed into my let's get dirty clothes. So y'all know what that means. It's time to get dirty. Let's get this oil change on the way. So as y'all can see, we went to Advanced Auto. For those who don't know, Advanced Auto do carry liquid Molly in stock. I got the 5W40 because that's what my car takes. Uh, you guys probably take 5W30, but if you guys are tuned, I'd recommend bumping up to 5W40. It's a little bit thicker and also lasts longer so you don't get that uh, add oil too frequently. So 
we're gonna add seven quarts of this yeah so i bought two five quarts of these um they didn't have the little bottle but i said fuck it just in case in the future if i need more i have it and i'll just carry it around in the trunk but we're gonna go ahead and add seven in so here's the first five right now I know I'm looking crazy as shit right now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I went on the floor rolling around, dirt and all. I ain't bothered though, it's cool. Um, I started the car, I'm letting it warm up so that I could do the um, oil, oil measurement thingy. I know I gotta be on a flat surface. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drive it up like halfway on here to where I know it's leveled out. Or I'm, I'm just gonna level the fucking car. I don't know where I'm gonna do that. So that it could actually run the test, run the measurements to see how much oil is in here, see if we need to add any more, or if we don't. So yeah, that's what we're waiting on. All right, so now that we got the oil situated, let's go ahead and get this pup washed. guys so the car is done it's washed everything is clean now i know you guys saw at tuner evo i did put the instagram on the side of my car but one thing i did not do was change the uh youtube url in the back on the license plate so what i'm about to do i'm, I'm about to take this plate off take it inside print out the new uh is that dj url put it on there and then put it back on the car so let's do that real quick Alright y'all, so that's pretty much it for the prep. Tomorrow is our MPAC, so I'm already prepped, everything is ready to go. I put the sticker on the windshield, so you know, we all good to go. Tomorrow's gonna be fun, you guys stay tuned for that video. I actually have a video in mind of what I wanna do. That drone is gonna be crazy, so stay tuned for that as well. That's gonna be the video after this, so I hope you guys enjoy that video when it does come out, if it comes out, cause y'all know my mind just be everywhere. But that's pretty much it for today's video just to recap what we did we did the oil change did the car wash we changed the sticker on the plate and we also changed the emblems so i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said if you did go downstairs hit that like button don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already also don't forget to follow me on instagram at is that dj and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video y'all be safe you hear me peace